Well, hello, welcome back to the Pendulum Colors. I am super excited to stream. To stream? I mean, I do like streaming, but no. I am super excited to record this. Yep. So excited, I just accidentally launched the camera. Good job. I only had massive issues earlier because the cable got a little bit wonky and disconnected and buggered everything, so uh, let's do my best to not club it. You'll have to forgive the dryness of my skin and how buggered it is. It's just part of plastering as a career. And uh, it's always what happens, you have just gotten out of the shower and yeah, it doesn't look pretty, but it's fine. So, getting into it immediately. Uh, I think this is where I should share some of the sad news. Hi Andromon did in fact die. Uh, it was out of work, I literally like had opened my bag just, and I mean just as the death song had start, like started, so uh, it was unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world, I might hatch a new boy out, I just want to figure out what, but not right now. In other sad news, and if I get it ready, because I'm prepared, as always, sadly, for some reason, at the Ballistamon just refuses to jog rest. Don't know why, he just refuses to. Hey, me from editing here. Uh, shortly after recording this video, I did have a bit of research into why I couldn't jog on the B, and I missed this piece of text, which essentially says, uh, all the type-based joggresses, so joggress with vaccine data, virus-free, etc, 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 uh, will not work on the vital bracelet B for whatever reason. Kinda sucks that it does that, but it, oh well. Um, so that means joggressing uh, at the Blissmon will be outright impossible, but I want to put this build section in here, just so you know now that I know why it's not working just so everyone's clear on it and you don't have to wait until I upload the next video which could be whenever uh, so, so you know that I've got the message so I apologize for my absolute inability to read basic text but uh, yeah back to the video which is unfortunate but oh well I guess the backup plan is evolving to Grand Locomon and then uh, use that to beat Megendramon, and then I can evolve, still go ahead and evolve um, Metal Mamimamon to Megendramon. That is the plan for that. Um, also, then he has a little baby now. I don't actually remember who the, uh, the mother of this one was. But uh, yeah, he's got a little baby boy. And, on a side note, the battery in this thing has lasted forever, like, from the last time you saw me put battery in this in the Quest for 100% series, same battery. Not changed it. Just like, this is the first set of LR44s I've put in this, and it's lasted nearly, I, I want to say, over a couple of months. Easily. Like, I think it's been over half a year. That's maybe because it's just been on this screen for a while, and I've not actually been raising it constantly. This lasted a good while. Mm. Okay, that's not something that needs clearing away. That is also not something that needs clearing away. And there is a cat approaching me. Let's hope she doesn't destroy anything. So, on my niche script, if we scroll past this, open the fridge, with the fabulous dancing swing of end dudes, we have the Tortamon. Look at it. Oh my god. Now this is a mod I've not actually raised even on the Pen 20, I don't think. I rarely ever raised this guy, it's not really what I go for. Uh, so let's give him some food. Oh, look at him eat. I sure do wish my camera would stop nullifying all of the colours. That would be great. Uh, I might be able to fix that actually right, right now. Right, look. If I just turn on manual saturation and just, mm, perhaps not, I mean I can boost the saturation a bit, but then my hands are orange, and it doesn't really do much for the screen, let's, let's turn that back, but then it's all grey, like when I move it, it's fine, look, oh, yeah, that's fine, you can see me as soon as I stop moving, grey, is 
the see it changes when I'm moving. No, he's moving, is it? He went this close, it seems alright. He's like, whoa, look at me, I'm in colour. Back here, it's just like, nope. Not to nullify that slightly, I will turn saturation up. My hands are going to be a bit orange, but I'd rather you have some, like, too much colour in some places and enough colour to see the colours of these guys than it should be grey. Again, it's kind of like, when he moves, bright colour. Otherwise, none. Uh, oh my god, it's a vaccine. You know what this means? Check, 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 check. He shoots little spikes. That's kind of cool. I need to rotate my microphone slightly so you guys can hear me a bit clearer. Look at him go! So, on my partner's Nightmare Soldier device. This is Phantom One. This is not the guy we want. Uh, I mean, we do want him in a bit, but not right now. Let's change him. Because the guy we have up front, I believe from the last video, is still Merrimon. There he is. And because he's just come out from backup, he's going to want a bunch of stuff, such as food, 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 food. And one of my favourite upgrades from the pendulums, well, from the Digimon to the pendulums, is that you only have to train him once. Like, watch this, right? Boo, he's training. And that strength will be full, which is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I like... I like training these guys. They're turned off right now, because I want to save battery. I like training them, right? But when you have to train them, particularly the version 1, constantly, it gets a bit old a bit quickly. So, there are two things we want to do with these guys. Uh, but not before, not before I forget, because I almost forgot, to do this. Tortomon, this is the boy. Uh, a tortoise type Digimon, and my monitor is rotated weirdly. That's not okay. I need to rotate you this way a bit. I have shunted some stuff on the camera, but that's fine. No. There we go. Oops. There we go. A tortoise type Digimon armed with a shell from which sharp blades grow. You can see them there. Look. I mean, they look pointy. I don't know about sharp, more jagged, but I mean, I'm sure with enough force they definitely will do damage. It's heavier than it looks. And it looks pretty heavy, as both its shell and body have formed to be highly dense, such that it creates fierce tremors with every step it takes, so it's just a, it's a stompy boot. So, th this seems like he definitely is on the route to Eldoradimon. Yeah, furthermore, it holds the other noise Digimon. I mean, I'm sure there's some Digimon that make more noise than this guy. Due to its shrill, metallic sounding cry, I mean, he's not, he looks more like he roars than he goes or something like that. While its usual walking movements are extremely slow, it's a turtle, they can retract its limbs so that its body is in the shape of a disc and spin itself. Oh, I forgot he does that! I forgot he just becomes a Beyblade. That's amazing. Uh, that makes move at 10 times its usual speed. Uh, its special move is firing the blade in its shell as if there were multiple warhead missiles. I mean, you could just say firing the, the blades off his shell like, just, like missiles. Just or just firing them in general. I, I mean, do they explode? I wouldn't imagine so. But uh, no, Totemon. Now, if you have ever read Digimon V Tamer, this is like one of the first guys you see Taichi and Vidamon fight. So, that's pretty cool. So, back to the camera. Here we go. I think first off, we need to give Tortum a new background. The swimmers are funny, but I think we need the uh, nice background here. There we go. So, step one, we are going to have these guys battle it out. So let's... Uh, Battle, connect, pendulum. I have shook both these guys to the right amount. They should both get their mega hits. Give them a poke, give them a connect. Merrimon versus Tortamon. Merrimon has the advantage. 
as he is a day site and Torsmon is a vaccine. Torsmon lands the first hit. And the second hit. His defense proves too much for Merrimon. It was a good fight, Merrimon. But uh, somehow Torsmon won despite the disadvantage. But that doesn't matter because now we are jogressing. Now we're jogressing as soon as I can. No, don't error on me. No! There we go. Here it comes. Tortamon evolves too, and Miramon evolves too. Yagamon and Wegarumon. Both slot 16, which is pretty neat coincidence. Okay. So, let's take a brief look at Wegarumon. Uh, he is a vaccine type. It's weird to me that Gabumon and Metal Gurumon are both data, but. Gururumon and Wegurumon are vaccines. He scratches with claws, that would be in reference to his Kaiser Nail attack. And Yagamon, the Potato Mon himself. He's also a vaccine. Good to know, good to know. Oh, Wegurumon's on battery there. He fires potatoes! He fires spuds. This makes me unbelievably happy. I love Jagamon so much. He fires potatoes. He is beautiful. Now, let's have these guys battle as well. Two vaccines. Both shook to the vaccine standard. And it's level. And vaccine chains. Lots of them. Potatoes versus wolf claws. The wolf claws cut through the potatoes. Second hit. Oh, it's down to the last shot. It goes to Jagamon. Bit more of an even fight, but sadly, Wedgerumon still lost. Good job, Jagamon. The Potato Mon won. So, uh, I'm gonna let this one rest. I'm also gonna put it on charge in a minute. Sorry, microphone. Uh, let's scooch over to the monitor again, and we can have a look at. Uh -huh. This guy. Who, in adventure, I don't think was animated with his tail in the same way that Bergemon wasn't animated with their, like, weird chicken hangy thing. A Beastman Digimon that evolved from Garurumon and gained the ability to walk on two legs. Yeah, you can see that, right there. Its speed dropped as a result of turning by pedal. Really? I thought Wegarumon's thing was that he's pretty quick. He runs pretty quickly. But it became a commando type Digimon with stronger offensive and defensive power, as well as developed a tactical nature. Really? Ah, good to know. So he's a smart boy more than a speedy boy, apparently. It's kicking techniques, which at least is least to be used, which at least is using the leg strength it retained from when it was Guru Mon. So yeah, that's gonna be a strong kick. Uh, quite strong. I I just said that. Stop stealing my words. And its jumping ability contends with first or second place among Digimon. So very strong legs. Also, it is fiercely loyal and has a reliable nature, faithfully executing any task ordered by its master. Uh, its special move is cutting the opponent pieces with its sharp claws on both of its hands. Kaizeneo. See? Told you. Did I not mention that attack earlier? Pretty cool. Not one of my favorites, but he's he's cool nonetheless. There's no Digimon I don't think is cool. But now for the best one. The Potato Mon. Look at him. He is a potato. Yagamon. A mimicking Digimon which is able to hide itself from opponents with its potato-like appearance. Although it has a timid personality and doesn't much like to fight, its hidden combat abilities are extremely great. In fact, with its peaceful personality, it loves to eat and sleep. That... I don't think that in fact needs to be there, but okay. 
Since its rind is several orders harder than it looks, it can curl up its limbs and head to allow it to endure their opponent's attacks. The visible part of its sprout serves as a radar which can perceive the motion of enemies above and behind it. So even if its head is hidden, it can take in the conditions of its surroundings and understand them. So basically, yeah. Similar to Tortamon and Eldran 1, he is just really, really durable. He can curl himself up into a potato ball, and that leaf there will detect any movement around him. Any kind of motion, movement, whatever happens, he knows what's going on. Because he is the best potato boy. Its special move is firing off the pieces of its rind, smash, smash potato. Smash potato. Uh, so yeah, like, again, like Tortamon. He can uh, fire off chunks of potato and just clobber people with it. He's a really cool Digimon. Right. Come back to these guys for a minute, just so I can not break OBS. That'd be great. If I go to the pendulum color. Uh, evolution chart page theme magic. The plan. The plan TM is we have Jagamon. We want to evolve him to hopefully Sableamon, which requires a virus type. Coincidentally, my partner has a Phantomon, who is a virus type and a perfect. That'll be very beneficial for us, and they'll end up with uh, that Digimon there. Yeah, this guy. This guy right here. Who I know is absolutely one of their favourites. So that works out nicely. Um, I could drug lesson right now, but I'm not going to. I want to spend some time with Jagamon, the pure and perfect potato boy. And just look at him. Look at him. I love that he evolves to Blastmon as well. But look at him. What a perfect mon. In fact, I am going to have to get another one to raise Blastmon. Or I could get... Who is that? Is that Atlacobiterimon that evolves into... Or can progress into Blastmon? Sure looks like it. Yeah, it is. Blastmon's pretty cool. Anyway. I think that is just about everything for this one. So, uh, next time... Probably in, but whenever. Because I don't, I technically don't even need to get any battles with these guys. I can just keep them around it until the next time I can record or whatever happens. Whenever everyone's ready to drug us, move on to the next stage. Because, the, well, next evolution is pretty much the last one. And that's from drug rest only for now. So, I'm in no rush to get battles done. I'm in no rush to do anything really. don't think I can screw this up like I don't think it's really possible unless I accidentally got 15 battles done and got an 80% win rate and left it long enough for them to uh, evolve naturally that would actually be impressive but probably not gonna happen so from Jagamon the potato boy and from Wegarumon, the less potato werewolfy boy. And of course myself, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one for more drug wrestling.